Welcome to your daily writing habit, episode number 177. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book and you're having some challenges finishing it, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, Christine Inc., I-N-K, Christine-Inc.com. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success, and they can turn someone who doesn't really consider themselves an author or even a writer into one. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Marie Curie. We are talking about mindset. Yesterday's episode and today, if you're listening to this live, is Saturday, October 5th. And then tomorrow is our Sunday story time. So we'll pick up with the third part of this series on Monday, which is October 7th. Look at my calendar. (laughs) So we are talking about mindset, specifically the effect of writing on mental health. And I have a quick uh, caveat here. If you are suffering from actual mental health symptoms that are having a negative impact on your work or life, please seek help from a mental health professional. The content in the broadcast is meant for entertainment and inspirational purposes only, and I hope it entertains and inspires you. So the reason I bring this up is the world of writing, as if you've been in the world of writing for any period of time, you know that there's there are quite a few jokes that go around about writers because you know it's a very mental sport that we're undertaking here. <laughs> And none of the jokes, I mean, we're usually, we're making it about ourselves and others, so we're not disrespecting others, so we're not meaning to be disrespectful, especially to mental health. But in our defense, you know, as writers, we're all swimming through mindset sharks together daily, and we're navigating a very unusual hobby, or in some cases, a career choice. So, you know, there's the garden variety, introversion and neurosis, and sometimes symptoms of, you know, ADD, OCD behaviors, anxiety, we're all pretty self-deprecating, although I don't know if that's a sign of mental health. (laughs) And for those of us who write fiction, the list grows longer and more alarming as completely made up people are thrown into those shark infested waters with us. So that adds even more symptoms. So it's a good time being a writer. And if we're not already kind of, you know, personality wise, a little bit off by nature, being a writer can definitely push us. So why on earth do we keep doing this? Well, Because, as contradictory as it sounds, in my opinion, writing is good for your mental health. And we are up to reason number two today, and that is, it helps us understand why, which is like one of my favorite words in the English language, why, especially as a writer. As writers, we are naturally curious, and therefore, I think we spend more time than most people thinking about what makes people tick, including ourselves. Okay, especially ourselves, (laughs) which is the ultimate mystery. We regularly and enthusiastically study the full spectrum of thoughts, motives, and emotions, both good and bad, and overall why people do what they do. Not understanding the why behind human behavior can create great frustration and angst, especially if you think about it. I think back to when I was single years and years ago, especially during college for dating singles. You want to talk about great frustration and angst? Try to understand the dating scene, try to understand the opposite sex, try to understand, I guess today, Tinder and everything like that. So if they're trying to get into people's minds while you're dating them, I think that's the ultimate frustration and angst. But as writers overall, we kind of become why anthropologists, and that can guard against any mental health detours because we start trying to understand rather than staying stuck in that state of frustration and angst and why is this person like this? Why is this person? If we start really exploring and trying to understand why, I think that is very helpful. So yeah, going back to college, I remember something I <clears throat> that a friend of mine named relationship committees where, you know, every date is reviewed. And, you know, that's the ultimate why committee right there is when you have a committee full of your female friends all trying to understand and break down and analyze sometimes at the forensic level, the behavior of a guy, of a college guy, of all things. That's a whole tangent right there. But that's definitely part of the why conversation. And I have to wonder how many books have emerged from authors trying to navigate dating and relationships, especially when they're young. I mean, think about the show Sex in the City. I think that entire series was based on why? (laughs) 
So that is my second reason why I believe writing is good for your mental health. It helps us understand why, or even if we don't ever get to that point where we do understand why, it gives us the motivation to search. It gives us the motivation to go on that journey of discovery, whether it's self-discovery, discovery of others. And again, you know, trying to understand why, trying to figure out the reasons behind things, I think is a lot more mentally satisfying and probably mentally healthy than just staying in that state of frustration and taking it personally and just kind of all the little rabbit holes that can go from that. So it helps us kind of pull back the curtain, look behind the scenes of human behavior. So like I said, um, this is the second of a three-part series on why writing is good for your mental health. So tomorrow, Sunday, the 6th is Sunday story time, as we always do. So tune in Monday, October 7th, for my third and final reason that writing can help your mental health. And in the meantime, be sure and drop by my Inc. Authors group on Facebook for motivation, accountability, book writing, and publishing resources, and so much more. Just awesome people in that group. Anything you need to do with writing and publishing and marketing. So many expert people in there. So many authors just like you. So many people that are just considering writing a book at this phase. They haven't done a thing about it, and they're in there to get that motivation and support from their peers. So Inc. Authors on Facebook. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit where I'm helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And if you know someone else who wants to write a book, please let them know about your daily writing habit, or you could always send them to my website, christine-inc.com, and you can reach me that way. Until tomorrow, happy writing.